senior project is something that's uh, it's really come alive here at the high school this year, and we have a very unique request um, that needs your approval. And in, in sort of preparing Devin for this presentation, it dawned on me that it might be nice for you to really <laughs> hear from Senior Brox, who's our senior project advisor. Uh, just really the process of selecting projects, approving proje projects, and um, the process that she goes through. Um, this year, I believe we have eight student or eight seniors doing projects, which is real authentic learning. They they go do a project for six weeks, they leave school, um, and come back and, and, <coughs> and share their findings. So um, I'm very excited for Devin's project, and I thought uh, Sen, you could talk a little bit about what senior project is to kind of help put that into context, and then um, Devin will have. Um, his presentation as well. So, so Sonia is an English teacher at the high school, and um, she is in charge of our seniors who are doing these types of uh, projects for the last year. Hi, folks. So I'm Sonia Brox, English teacher. Here is a senior project advisor. Five minutes. What is senior project? I guess maybe the question to start with: What is senioritis? Um, <laughs> I tell my kids that if they can't look it up in WebMD and show me, then it doesn't actually <laughs> exist. But there is this thing that sometimes happens, I don't know, Riley Smith, right? <laughs> that like by the fourth term, senior year, which fourth term is about six weeks, seniors start to fade. And then the perfect antidote is senior project. So ultimately, we have nine kids, or eight, and then Devin hoping to get your approval, nine kids doing it this year. And what it is, is I, I go in into the English classes and talk to the seniors and I really ask them if you were if you could go out and have six weeks to do anything that you wanted to do in this community what would it be if you didn't have to come to classes so people that end up pursuing this what they do is they don't come to classes with a few exceptions and then they design their own project based on their personal passion or a civic interest or something that they're thinking about doing as a future career. And the best projects, and so many of ours this year, including Sam Merlin, who's back there, and I'll tell you briefly about what he's going to do, um, they combine all three. So it's really up to the student to figure out what is my interest, what do I want to spend my last six weeks doing that feels really meaningful instead of possibly trudging through class. Though, Riley, I know that won't be you in English. <laughs> Um, so here's just some super brief background. It's pretty common in area high schools. It's been in Medfield since 2005. And headcount between, like we had one last year, this year we have nine. Other years it's been anywhere between two, three, I think the most was, I think it's been 10 or so. Um, and we're trying to really revitalize the program. So how it works, if you have something that you're really interested in, and I think I talked to about 25 seniors face to face and we ended up getting nine people applying, but you have to go through a process and what people realize is it actually takes more work and passion to do this than maybe stay in school. So it's, this is not like, oh, I don't wanna come to school, how can I wind up just hanging out in my parents' basement? This is really having to work on putting your passion together. So they apply and what they need to do first is figure out what you're gonna do and then you find an inside mentor at MHS. You happen to be an inside mentor this year, Meg Drew. Um, and it's a teacher that's going to volunteer his or her time to help guide the student through the process of what, what can a project be, how can it be reasonably carried out so that you're not overwhelmed. But we're putting a timeline together and you are in contact with the student regularly during that project time. The student also needs to find an outside mentor, so someone not within the walls here, but who's going to steer that student in the project outside of school. And those two mentors are in touch frequently once the project starts. You have to write an essay to apply. Why do you want to do this? And you know, what are your reasons? And how are you going to deal with challenges that come up? And then you have to have an interview with the senior project committee. So we just carried those out a couple weeks ago when we approved the project. The neatest part about those interviews was seeing these students that maybe in your classes are more quiet. And then they come to life as they talk about what it is that they want to do for those six weeks. So it's, it's a, I mean, for them, they really have to put the investment in. And then for the teachers, it's amazing to see how excited they get about this project. So just, I'm gonna show you three super brief examples of what kids are doing this year. Sam, there you are, not to put you on the spot, but I did warn you. Um, so there's Sam and his inside mentor, Mr. P, whose room this is. Sam is making a documentary on the history of Medfield. Um, and he's already behind the TV camera here. This is what he's interested in filmmaking next year, right? This is like where you hope to go. So he's gonna take his five and a half weeks, put his project together, spend a lot of time editing, and have a finished little documentary by the end of it. So hopefully that will be available to you guys. Um, and then we have 
Elise, who's going to be, she's really interested in the connection between fitness and mental health. She's going to be shadowing a personal trainer, doing a lot with weightlifting that she already does. You can't really see right here, but she's a boss. And um, she really wants to figure out how to offer something that she's learned from her personal trainer and weightlifting to the Medfield High School community. So she's like teachers that maybe want like a secret weightlifting class in the gym because they're kind of bashful to go somewhere else. So she's figuring out a way to not just benefit herself, but give something back to the school. And then um, there's Meg down there with Marissa. Marissa's going to be volunteering full time with the Bay State Animal Cooperative. And when she interviewed, Marissa talked about how she could see herself maybe running a shelter at some point in her life. And this volunteering, this full-time volunteering opportunity would really show her what it's like to do everything from the paperwork in an office to scooping litter boxes to arranging adoptions. So it's the full spectrum, not just like I'm volunteering once a month. So she's really, really excited about it. Um, so those are the th just three that I wanted to highlight. We've got five others plus Devin. The last thing is as these students are carrying out these projects, they have to meet with their mentors. They have to, at the end, write a reflective essay they have to present the project to Medfield High School. Really, our target audience is juniors because we want them to be thinking about next year, like, wow, that sounds so cool. How can I make that meaningful for me? And then new this year that I'm asking the students to do is to keep a blog. So there's a senior project homepage, and from there, the, their blogs will be updated. I'm going to ask for a couple times a week, just a picture, some short writing, so that I'm going to ask Robert to tweet it out. I'm kind of bashful on Twitter, but um, maybe it'll help me. But So that way, it doesn't, in the past, senior project has been very much confined to the community at the end of just for this presentation, but we really want people to be able to follow along. We've actually got someone who was, um, Zach was here earlier, he's going to be working full time at the Medfield Funeral Home. So like who doesn't want a little inside info from, not, not like gossip, but like, you know, like funeral home, how is it operating? And he's thinking about going into this as a major, but he figures this six weeks is really going to help him know, like, is this what I'm cut out for? And if it's not, wouldn't it be better to find out now than go to college, pay for all that, and not have it be the thing right. that I want to do? So are there any questions? So that's the end of me. Are there any questions about senior project overall? I love it. Yes. Okay. Oh. I was just going to ask, does somebody grade the reflective essays at the end? Yes. Yeah, so actually, the senior project committee is all the, it's all the inside mentors. So this year, it's me <coughs> plus the other nine teachers. So we grade the, it's pass, fail, or honors. Um, so we grade the presentation, the essay, the blogs, like all that gets factored in together. And really, we do every, I mean, that's why you have an inside mentor. I don't think anybody's failed. Like, nobody wants that to happen. So you really make sure that the plan is doable. I'm just going to, it's not a, a question, more of an endorsement. Um, I, I used to work in a district that had this as a graduation requirement. Wow. Now, I'm not advocating for that here. But I'm just saying yeah. that experience, yeah. yeah. Um, but that experience was really meaningful for those kids. <coughs> and as you said, to see, to see those kids get really passionate about something that, that they want to do in the future that right. is outside the, the walls of, of a classroom was just really meaningful. And, and I served on that committee that they presented them to us, and it was really the pass fail to graduate. Right. And it was just great to see those kids come alive. So that's just an endorsement of, of the project, and I think it's really great for kids. Thank you. We typically great. do our projects on the presentations on Mondays. We'll be sure to get you that information. Yeah. 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 So great. Yeah. 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 Okay. <coughs> so no other questions? Then, so that was the whole point was for me to set the context so Devin could come up and tell you about his project, because he's going to go a little bit farther away than the funeral home. So come on up, and <laughs> I will. Devin, you need to buy yourself like 30 seconds while I log in. While I log in. So Devin, Devin, you're going to be great, first of all. Yeah. All right, so just take a, take a deep breath while I tell them something. <laughs> um, so the reason why that you need to, to look at this and the reason why Devin is presenting this evening is because it's an out-of-state senior project. A little more outlandish. We've, yeah. we've never had before. Um, and certainly the committee always approves any out-of-state trip, so that's why we asked Devin to come tonight and, and do his presentation. So just the pass fail component takes up whatever all four classes or whatever Correct. yeah five classes. all right so my name is Devin Diani and for my senior project this year this spring I plan on going to Cory Hill Farms um, so I got in contact with this farm through an organization called WOOF and that stands for Worldwide Opportunities on <laughs> Organic Farms and so basically what this program does, it links uh, volunteers and organic farms and growers together. So basically what I would be doing is I'd be going there and giving my time for an accommodation and food. And basically I'd, I'd be doing work on a farm and yeah, I, I get a place to stay and food. 
<laughs> and so with Woof, they uh, target down like your preferences, like what kind of farm you want to be working on, um, the kind of people that you know who own the farm, and like yeah, if you're like vegan, vegetarian, all that kind of stuff. And so I put my preferences preferences in, and I got to uh, Corey Hill Farm. And that is in eastern Pennsylvania in a town called Harleysville. And there I'm going to work about approximately six hours a day. And what I'll be doing is preparing for the growing season and support the lambing process <coughs> there. And I plan to arrive April 6th and leave May 19th. Well, my goals is to, uh, I want to experience, learn, and you know, maintain the organic uh, model and to be able to uh, learn the skills for uh, what it's like to be a farmer. And uh, I want to be able to implement those to uh, learn how to grow organic food. So why this project is right for me. I'm very passionate about this topic. I love the outdoors. I love going on hikes, stuff like that. Uh, I actually got accepted in this school called Sterling College. It's an agricultural school. And it deals directly with the education that I'm pursuing. So my senior project would uh, relate directly into the, my uh, major next year, so. Where is Sterling College? Sterling is in Craftsbury, Vermont. Wow. Yeah. So it's gonna be a great like mm -hmm. jump start into my, uh, you know, yeah. my uh, field of study. So, yeah. So what, what, um, what interested you in farming? Um, honestly, I love being outdoors. I love, you know, doing that, and I wanted to be able to do something where I could uh, contribute positively and be able to help and impact others. I've actually, uh, I've done, sorry I forgot to mention, I've actually been to Montana before on my, by my, uh, myself and I went there for a month and I did a, I stayed on an Indian reservation and built a playground for about a hundred hours. It's about, we spent, so. I'm also going to New Mexico this summer to uh, do more work there. Awesome. And you're going to stay with the farm? Yes, I would stay with the family there, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That's excellent. So, Devin, I have a quick question. Um, are you interested in the in health in general, or what do you hope to that propels you on towards? Um, you know, are, are you hoping to become a farmer? Are you looking to yeah, use I've, that for health and wellness, or what is your my plan? Objective? Is because you know I am. I notice my habits are not as healthy, and I want to be able to kind of get oh. into that mindset of being much more. Uh, conscious of what I eat and what I do and what I put into my body. So I think this is going to be a clearly a great step into yeah. that. So. Good for you. What, what are you, when you go to Sterling, it's an agricultural college, what's mm -hmm. your major in? Oh, sustainable farm. Sustainable farm. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Dylan, has, has Corey Hill Farm hosted somebody like you in the past? Or they, yeah, they have experience so with this? they've hosted about six other people and they left comments and reviews and I read them all over and I've been in contact with the woman who owns the farm. is called Slow Ann, that's her name. And uh, yeah, they uh, all good reviews. They have a little kid who's about 12 years old. And yeah. We have a process that we go through. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Right. They, the senior advisor goes during the stay, you mean? Or? No. Or, no. no, no. Um, yeah. Yeah. Unless you want to. Anne Marie Fratellillo is his inside mentor. She puts oh, yeah. So how are we Skyping? Yeah, we'll be Skyping a lot. Right. So I met with Devin a couple of weeks ago, and when I first heard, because uh, it was, it's a different type of, you know, a senior project that involves you know, being away from school. So um, I asked Devin to, to kind of make a formal presentation to me, and I was just, the passion that he has for his particular field is, is exciting. And, and when we talk about senior projects and the importance of them, it really does <coughs> provide an opportunity for students to really get that hands-on, real-life experience. Uh, he's going to go right into the college where this is what he's going to study. So it's just a great opportunity, a very unique one. Mm -hmm. um, and as, as Dr. Margins said, very different from anything we've requested before. Um, but I felt that given given what I know of Devin and, and certainly what he wants to do, this seemed to kind of be right in his wheelhouse. So I thought it was uh, something that I you know, definitely want to bring before you and get your approval. So six hours is about the school day, but what we do with you're in the middle of nowhere in Pennsylvania. What we do with the rest of your time? Spend quiet um, reflection. Or? <laughs> uh, a lot of reading, yeah. blogging, yeah, skyping, 
probably finding other activities to be able to do around there. Hopefully meet some friends, you know. Great. Are there going to be other uh, students at the same time? Uh, they or actually people? only accept one person. One person. One uh, person working there at the time, yeah. And then they have, and you said it's a lambing season? They're going to be? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that so, sounds exciting. So how many people are working on this farm while, while you're there? So it's Sloan, her husband, and their son who work there. And so oh, wow. I think she started this whole farm because she, uh, <coughs> she had breast cancer and you know, she wanted to like start eating more healthy and find like a ways in which she could uh, you know, get through that. And it uh, really worked for her and apparently that's why she set up this farm. So. Is it a CSA farm or it is. is it a farm stand? I forgot. Yeah, it is a CSA farm. Okay, oh, yes. cool. So you'll be probably helping with distribution mm -hmm. and yeah, all that good all that stuff. stuff yeah. Okay, cool. Great. So, so our approval is required for credit, but we don't want to, your parents, I assume, are all supportive. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> I don't care about the superintendent's recommendation. Right. 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 To your point, I did a senior project my senior year and talked about you know top ten life experiences that you still talk yeah. about. So Great. 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 Good for you for thinking outside the box and Thank kind you. of yeah. Yeah. a little different. Very good. Yeah. So we need to vote on this because it's out of state. The superintendent has recommended approval. Is there a motion? A motion. For a second. second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Yeah. All the best. Have a great time. Yeah, good Thanks. luck. Thanks. Learn a yeah. lot. Yeah. Cool. Mr. Parker, are we finally done with you? I think so. You sure? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing else? That might be an all time record. One hour and 15 minutes for Mr. Parker. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> You're right. It is a record. All good stuff. That's right. This program was made possible through the generous support of your Medfield friends and neighbors, folks just like you. And thanks for watching.